Hello students, welcome to Gambia School of Education, Suresh Gambia University. I'm Dr. Sonia Kaur Bansal and today's my topic is about speaking skills in the subject pedagogy of a school subject, English. So students, today's class learning objective is to learn about speaking skills, what they are and how it is very important for the students to learn the speaking skills in correct manner. We will also see many activities which can be given in the classroom situations to enhance the speaking skills of the students. So students, let's start with the speaking skills. I hope all of you will listen the lecture very attentively and will get the maximum benefits from it. Now students, let's see what is speaking skill. So speaking skill is something that is related to the uh, essential skills of English language teaching and learning. When we are talking about a foreign language, which is also uh, a target language in Indian classrooms. So English is taught mainly with the help of four skills, listening, speaking, reading and writing. And in today's lecture, we are going to see about speaking skill. And it is the art of communication and one of the four productive skill that must be mastered in learning the foreign language. So good speaking skill is the act of generating words that can be understood by listeners. A good speaker is clear and informative. When we are speaking, so it becomes mandatory for us also that other person is listening to us and it is actually very clear that our message is being conveyed and the target audience is understanding our message. So speaking is somehow informative and it must be very clear from the side of speaker. So just imagine students that you uh, being prospective teachers of English language and you imagine yourself that if your speaking is not so accurate and your speaking skill is actually somehow uh, defective. So how can we teach our students in a more efficient way? So it is very important to understand about the speaking skill. So let's understand it. First of all, students, let's understand what is speaking. So conveying information verbally, it is something that we put words into it. We are speaking them. So whatever we are thinking, whatever we are feeling, we are giving expression to it. And expression of thoughts, expression of feelings, expression of ideas. And these expressions can be uh, related to any object, situation, person, or any event. So speaking is must when you want to be expressive about your thoughts, feelings and ideas or you want to give any information to another person or group of people or any community. So speaking becomes must by that time. All right, students. So now let's understand after understanding what is speaking, let's understand what are speaking skills. And skills is such a, a beautiful word, students, that is actually um, making your speaking more uh, effective and more suitable. So it is actually this uh, ability to convey one's message or information verbally in a proper and suitable manner. So when we are talking about speaking skills so whatever the information the ideas thoughts feelings we were discussing just now about any person object thing or any situation so it should be done in a very proper and suitable manner so what it includes that it should be uh, done with proper pronunciation, articulation, stress, intonation and all the necessary components of speaking skills. It is also related to ability to express oneself clearly in front of others. Just understand students that when we are speaking, we actually 
assume that someone must listen to us because we are conveying some information to others so the information must be expressed very clearly in suitable words with suitable pitch with suitable tone in front of others and it is also about the ability to express one's ideas feelings and thoughts there are many students in the classroom the, those who are very much efficient in writing skills they do write wonderfully but when it comes to the terms of speaking then they are unable somehow to express their ideas in vocal form in verbal form so this is the situation students that uh, should be avoided or the speaking skill must be enhanced among the students by an english teacher so it is actually in real sense an ability which is enabling the students to express their thoughts in a more beautiful way and somehow it is increasing their confidence level also so when it is uh, like we are understanding about speaking skills so it is also moreover about the ability to give swan's opinion in different matters if we are actually very much confident to express ourselves in a better way in any situation then the student will also be able to express his or her opinion in different matters or different concepts or the different devices which will be taught by the teacher may it be grammar or composition or prose or poetry whatever the teacher would be teaching it would be actually grasped by the students with proper listening speaking reading and writing skills all right so this is all about speaking and speaking skills just make it very clear in your mind students that there is a difference between speaking and speaking skills speaking is delivering actually telling your information your ideas and thoughts in verb in verbal way and speaking skills is actually giving it more suitability of words so let's understand further now why speaking skills are so important it is very understand as uh, understandable for all of you and it is also very important that speaking skills are very important in english language which is considered a foreign language in our india so first of all it helps creating understanding when we are teaching a concept to our students students are understanding or not understanding teacher evaluates in between and with that help of evaluation the students are answering and how the students are answering how do they feel about the particular topic content poetry or the author or any grammatical rule so it makes clear to the teacher also as well as to the student also that the student is understanding or somewhere there are few points that uh, must be revised so it is helping them to uh, create a better understanding so next it is about help uh, it is helping expressing oneself to others just imagine students that students are not able to speak how would they express themselves to others and moreover if the teacher is not able to speak in english language and how would she express or he would be express to uh, more effective way whatever the content he is teaching so this is very important for teacher as well as a student to be well versed with the speaking skills now it also helps a person to grow socially in his personal and professional life there are many good orator students and they speak so well sometimes uh there are a few situations where the things have turned uh, around a um, drastic change because a particular person has uh, communicated something with his speaking skills and everybody is convinced and now everybody is following him or her 
so it is very essential for a person to grow in personal as well as professional life now we are uh, talking about english language teaching so when it comes to english language teaching then it is essential for a teacher to be well versed with all uh, four types of skills listening speaking reading and writing so speaking is the part where you actually introduce yourself to others how you speak how you communicate with your students how you communicate with your colleague so it comes on the part of teacher when we are talking about students so how do they communicate with teacher their peer group their parents so it is actually helping them also to grow in their personal life so this is how uh, speaking skill is very very important if you are speaking something it should be it should be in very suitable manner all the important things must be taken in care while we are speaking something in particularly target language or english language now next uh, importance of a speaking skill is related to it helps in avoiding conflicts sometimes few situations are actually arising in the classrooms that uh, if the students are not understanding well maybe they are looking at some audio aid or video aid or maybe they are uh, looking at uh, some visual charts or anything then their ideas or thoughts may be in conflict about the understanding of the concept so if the student is able to express himself or herself in a particular concept uh, misunderstanding or any uh, less understanding the teacher would be clearing it so it is very necessary if the speaking skill is very strong then the teacher as well as students will be um, communicating more effectively and it is really very beneficial for them in english classroom now students after uh, looking at the speaking and speaking skills and importance of speaking skill let's see how do speaking skills help us avoid conflicts we have just uh, discussed about it so let's see it in detail so first of all by knowing the proper words and the proper way to use them how we are using the words in a particular situation in a particular answer so this is the way how uh, actually it is avoiding the conflicts we can definitely work our way through our conflicting situation and ease the tension built up so silence is uh, not always good by dear students so just think about speaking skills also so speaking up is better and it's about being honest about our experience in a way that is respectful to ourselves and to those around us all right so some important aspects of your voice uh, in front of your screen so these are some important aspects when you you are speaking your tone intonation pronunciations and flow pace and pitch so these are some important aspects of your voice when you are speaking and which is really enhancing your speaking skills and making the difference between a, a common man and a very good orator so you can just differentiate the tone of the person who is speaking very nicely and the tone of the person who is speaking little uh, monotonously or we can say disinterestingly so tone is something that is giving uh, interestingness to your voice intonation where you have to uh, just uh, rise up your voice and where you have to lower your voice you should control it you should know how to control it then correct pronunciation really matters a lot and uh, it is the matter of great worry for all indian teachers english teachers that uh, if they are teaching with defective pronunciations then their students won't be able to understand them and rather they will be copying that so correct pronunciation has too much of importance and it is actually conveyed in proper way to the students 
the next thing we are talking about flow and pace how should be a particular topic must be taught or answer must be given in a very speed way or in a very low way so flow or pace must be maintained in a very suitable manner then pitch of the voice must be clear and it should be maintained throughout the uh, speaking uh, time so these are some important aspects of your voice students so take care of them firstly tone then intonation pronunciation flow pace and pitch now let's have a look on some important speaking skills during private speaking how do we speak when we are speaking in a public platform or privately speaking so th these are some points that will actually enhance your learning about how you do it so first of all very interesting is intermediate pace intermediate pace is related to something that uh, you are just maintaining the flow of your speech you are not actually somehow you are losing the control over your voice or maybe of your content whatever you are speaking so then maybe intermediate pace sometimes it is very high sometimes very low sometimes moderate so intermediate pace should be there then second very important point is related to clear voice so what is about clear voice clear voice is definitely when we are speaking something and it is understandable by the other person your voice should not be like uh, vague or your your voice should not be like that it is not understandable understandable by maximum people only some of your known people can understand um, those ideas so it should not be your, your voice must be very very clear next is regard of the situation on what situation you are going to speak definitely if you are going to speak on a happy occasion then your uh, gestures must include that that you are happy but if you are you are speaking on a sad note or uh, on a condolence space then you should not show that so just pay regard to the situation and keep your uh, pitch tone intonation accordingly then next important thing when you are speaking in public so you must remember that before speaking you must listen properly to others so letting the other person finish first is a very important characteristic of a good speaking skill let other person finish and you grasp the idea what the person is trying to say once you are finished with listening which is going to help you a lot in your speaking also so first listen appropriately and then go towards the speaking then now clear description of point this is very important students that you must give clear description of point and it must be enhanced by the speaker that all the time he should not do like that the, there is something that is not understandable so just understand it, it in that way also all right students so now next i'm going to proceed towards that is some important point important speaking skills during public speaking so first of all research a topic what you are going to speak then organize your ideas logically there must be a logic whatever you are speaking either it is sequenced or logical logically ordered or not then employ some quotations facts and statistics to your research or your topic whatever you are going to speak and for english teacher i would specially recommend that just employ your quotation or your good poetic lines your facts related to the um author or poet or poetess and a good statistics of numbers how how much you have achieved this mastery so incorporate humor also this is not considered good on part of the teacher 
that all the time teacher is teaching in a very monotonous tone and the students are listening and listening all the time make them laugh also sometimes so incorporate your hu sense of humor also a good sense of humor will uh, attract the students attention and you will be successful in achieving your educational objectives in a smoother way and at the end of the class you would see that you have achieved your uh, objectives related to your uh, skills which are necessary in, in english language then start strong yes students start strong and end stronger this is how your speech must be connected to your audiences then analyze the audience what type of audience you are having are you having the audience which is not so uh, reacting or are you having the audience which is very reacting then you must be very careful in your speaking or even then if your uh, audience is not so reacting you must be careful because reactions may come in any way maybe on the spot or after the speaking so analyze the audience or how much they have understood you just understand that what is the level of your audience what kind of vocabulary you are using so all these things must be taken in consideration while you are going towards speaking skills all right then next uh, students we are talking about punctuation words and with gestures when we are writing we are putting a punctuation marks in our paragraph sometimes full stop sometimes comma sometimes dash and these all type of punctuation marks are giving us an idea how we must read that paragraph all right but when we are speaking we must have a punctuation mark in our mind now this is exclam exclamatory mark here this is comma so you must stop somewhere so gestures must include so just apply these skills in your public speaking when you speak there so very vocal base tone and volume what kind of volume you must have what the uh, size of the class you do you have is it a very small size or a moderate size or a big size classroom so what type of vocal pace you are having is it moderate or very high or unbearable voice is actually not desirable from students point of view also and when you are speaking publicly then it becomes more important for a, a orator or a speaker to control over the tone and volume the next students uh, interact with audience by holding a question answer, answer session when you are taking question answer session that means you are allowing your audience to communicate with you and whatever the thoughts feelings ideas you just have delivered you want to be assured that they have just got it or not so question answer session must be followed up by uh, the speaker after he has or she has finished the speaking then seek feedback also a good speaker must never be afraid of feedback then when feedback must be there and if there are any shortcomings then we can overcome of it with um, appropriate practice all right then convince the persuade listeners when necessary so you have to convince during the question answer session also and persuade your listeners when necessary you have to be good listener also when you you want to be a good speaker and then lastly act and speak in a proper manner what you are speaking you must act in that way all right as the small children do twinkle twinkle little star they actually just do, do this reaction immediately twinkle twinkle little star all right students now places where you can practice your speaking skills it is very important for all of you to know about few places where you can actually speak or you do your practice for speaking skills you can do this at home at school 
your educational institute where you have taken admission or where you are teaching at your workplace at public places like cafes restaurants shopping malls etc and at public and private places where you can speak and you can improve your speaking skills then now students let's understand about the methods which can help improve your vocal quality it is very important for us and very interesting for all of us to know about it that how can we improve our vocal quality yes it can also be improved so there are few tips to all of you students that drink hot beverages when you have to speak more and more it will actually soothe your throat and there would the voice quality will be of a better quality then next important tip is uh, gargle your thro throat using salt solutions these are some uh, general tips that singers also apply when they have to sing a very uh, good song so in the same way when we are speaking we need uh, some sort of good st uh, strong throat and vocal quality can be improved by these uh, very small tips which we can apply easily then third thing is get enough sleep also yes sleep actually in improves our vocal quality also whatever we are speaking it is easily understandable then and our mind is not uh, in conflict that what is to speak and what not to speak it actually improves by that time then next eat a healthy diet yes students it, it is really very important if we want to improve our vocal quality have a good diet what you are having it should not actually damage your vocal quality when you are having good diet it will definitely improve avoid ailing don't shout don't scream all the time it will it will just disturb your vocal quality and it will be uh, like turned in a way coarse or harsh throat so take care of your vocal quality students by following all these important tips which i have given like uh, drink hot beverages gargle your throat with the salt solution get enough sleep eat a healthy diet avoid ailing or shouting or screaming now tips to improve the speaking skills now find native english speakers talking to actual native speakers is the most effective way to improve your english speaking skills or otherwise also then secondly listen to the music of english when we listen well we can speak well no not english music the music of english it's little it's prosody the sing song ness of it the intonation even if you speak perfect english technically if you speak it like a robot you are not speaking in the way it is meant to be spoken so just try to listen to the music of english and it will really help you to get a good command over your speaking skills and it is really very necessary for being an english teacher also slow down yes very important tip slow down above all if you want to be understood if you want your audience must understand your thoughts feelings or ideas whatever you are expressing slow down a little bit the more clearly you speak the better chance your listener has understanding you it's tempting to get nervous and want to speed up to get it all over with but you can't do that clarity is key for some native speakers to english speakers to so this is how it it is going to work for you the next record yourself yes very nicely uh, you can uh, just sit and if you want to test your vocal quality and if you see what are the flaws and what the, what are the shortcomings in my speaking style you can record yourself though we hear ourselves all the time we really don't know quite what we sound like so when we record it is more clear to us so record yourself so what are the weak and strong points you hear in your speech and then you can concentrate on what you need to work upon a great idea is to get a book on tape 
record yourself reading an expert from it or mimicking the narrator and comparing yourself to the recording that way you can do it over and over until you get it right so start working upon it record yourself and then get your weak and strong points yourself nobody is going to judge you more better than yourself all right students the next tip is speak english at home this is the biggest and easiest mistake to make you go about your day you are on the job working partly in english you go to your english class and then you go home and revert back to your negative native tongue this is somehow that students or the teachers do not speak in english or do not communicate in that way so until unless you will be giving a time a thought to you uh, to your target language then how it would be possible for you to understand it in a more comfortable manner so it is very important for all of us to understand that now strategies for developing speaking skills let's understand that effective instructors teach students speaking strategies using minimal uh, minimum mal responses recognizing scripts and using language to talk about language that they can use to help themselves expand their knowledge of the language and their confidence in using it so using minimal responses also so first of all minimal responses let's talk about it language learners who lack confidence in their ability to just a uh, participate successfully in oral interaction often listen in silence while others do the talking so one way to encourage stock of minimal responses that they can use in different types of exchanges such uh, responses can be especially useful for the beginners students so remember this is one of the strategies for speak uh, developing your speaking skills then secondly uh, recognizing scripts so some communication situations are associated with a predictable set of spoken exchanges like a script greetings apologies compliments invitations and other functions that are influenced by social and cultural norms often follow pattern or scripts so recognize that script and the, just try to develop your skills so do the transaction exchanges involved in activities participate in that and such as obtaining information and making a purchase so these type of scripts are actually enhancing your speaking skills then thirdly important strategy we are talking about developing the speaking skill is about using language to talk about language so language learners are often too embarrassed or shy sometimes to say anything when they do not understand maybe they are having this type of complex that i am a language learner and if i show some time of some type of not understanding concept uh, this type of situation they just realize that i am from language learner maybe a superior type of complex is uh, uh, just interfering their curiosity so they do not understand another speaker or when they realize well that a conversation partner has not understood them so instructors can help students overcome his re reticence by assuring them that misunderstanding and the need for clarification can occur in any type of interaction so whatever the participants language skill levels so this is how the strategy of speaking skill will develop gradually now students let's look Uh, let's have a look on kinds of speaking situations in which we find ourselves so there are mainly three types of situations interactive partially interactive and non interactive so interactive speaking situations include face to face conversation and telephone calls so this is face to face conversation 
so this is the first phase in which we are alternately listening and sometimes speaking and in which we have a chance to ask for clarification also repetition or slower speech from our conversation partner so this is the interactive uh, situation for speaking skill then secondly partially interactive some speaking situations are partially in uh, interactive such as when giving a speech to a live audience where the convention is that the audience does not interrupt the speech the speaker never less can see the audience and judge from the expressions on their faces and body language whether or not he or she being understood so this is type of uh, speaking situation which is partially interactive now some few speaking situations may be totally totally interactive non interactive so such as when recording a speech for a radio broadcast so as i'm record as i'm giving you this video lecture so this is not interactive but later on you can comment in my uh, comment box and then you can tell me you can give me the feedback but you can understand a lot about my ideas and thoughts about this particular topic so these type of situations give you different type of speaking situations now students let understand the micro skills in speaking skill which you must take care while speaking so firstly pronounce the distinctive sounds of a language clearly enough so that people can distinguish them this includes making tonal distinctions also you should be very much clear in your pronunciation if you are finding it somehow difficult with few words then just practice or nowadays i suggest personally to all my students that to just download an app in your mobile or just help get the technological help to get the correct pronunciation but never lose your pronunciation your good pronunciation on your concept okay so this is the first micro skill then second use stress and rhythmic patterns and intonation patterns of the language clearly enough so that people can understand what is said use the correct forms of words this may mean for example changing in the tense case or gender so put words together in correct uh, word order use vocabulary appropriately then use the register or language variety that is appropriate to the situation and the relationship to the conversation partner so these are some important micro skills which you must understand for the speaking skills another thing make clear to the listener the main sentence constituents such as subject verb object by whatever means the language uses make the main idea stand out from supporting ideas or information so these are very important things you must take uh, very seriously now students uh, let's discuss class activities for developing speaking skills i'm going to tell you some beautiful class activities which will enhance the speaking skills of your students so let's understand them one by one so types of class activities first understand it language experts have organized oral skills into four distinctive types and what are they just understand drills or linguistically structured activities secondly performance activities thirdly participation activities and fourthly observation activities so these type of activities will actually enable your learner to be very good in oral skills drills performance participation and observations these are the type of class activities that i'm going to introduce you so drills are linguistically structured activities so here teacher provide a particular situation or structure and the students practice it by repeating it so here how the drill is structured for example student 1 to student 
I'm Noreen. What is your name? Student 2 to student 3. The same structure is followed. I'm Anam. What is your name? So on with student 4 to student 5. So these are the structured type of activities which is actually created by the teacher in a structural form. And the students repeat it by practicing them. Generally, in grammatical teaching, we do it. Then let's understand performance activities, students. So students prepare himself beforehand and deliver some message to a group. So student speech is involved in performance activities where the students are performing something. Maybe uh, it is being done in the form of debate or extempo. So it is uh, something is there that is being performed by the student. So these type of activities must be organized by an English teacher to inculcate the good speaking skills among the students. Then participation activities, as its name suggests, that students participate with each other in some sort of activities or communicative activities in natural settings. It, it is quite possible that after teaching your content, you are giving uh, a sort of time to your student, a particular uh, time to your student that, okay, 10 minutes, you are going to have a good discussion on the theme of the poem. Then this is somehow participatory activity and the students are going to discuss uh, about the theme of a particular poem. What have you recently talked to them? So the next is about observation activities. So observation activities, as its name suggests, students observe something. And while observing, they are also writing a brief summary and present his findings to the class. And this is how their speaking skill is enhanced because they are speaking on the basis of their own observation. We have seen that, we have observed that and it was found. So on the basis of their findings, they will be speaking their whole idea uh, to the audience. And in that way, the teacher is creating a wonderful situation for the students to speak something what they have observed in real scenario. Then some most commonly used activities are short speeches, gap activities, role play, discussions. You can see some cartoons are made on my screen and how they are speaking, short speeches, dialogues are given. Thank you for uh, taking terms that makes me happy when you are polite. So this is something how the students are also going to uh, organize such beautiful activities with the help of teacher. So let's understand short speeches. What are the short speeches? Students may be given some easy topics and prepare them in verbal or written form. Then come to stage or deliver a lecture speech for a given time frame before the class. So this is how it it is going to build up students' confidence also. Short speeches can be arranged during the assembly period also, where the students are actually given the opportunity to understand about a particular thing. For example, there is uh, something, celebration going on related to Diwali festival, and now students have to speak about to one or two minutes about it. Students will prepare those few lines and then they will speak. So these are the short type of speeches that uh, teacher can uh, avail this type of activities to enhance the speaking skills. Now, let's see gap activity. So it is a form of a dialogue. So understand what is gap activity. One person has some information and other person is not having. There is a gap between two persons. Because whatever the other person is knowing, aware about the facts or truth about another person, the uh, first person doesn't know. So an interview or self-introduction is an activity of this kind. Then gap activity, it is the way information gap is filled. 
this activity will remove the student's hesitation gap activity is really very nice students when you are actually um seeing it in the form of uh, like uh, your interview skills or any other skills so this is how gap activity is done now next is role play this is also a form of dialogue students may be asked to play different roles in the form of a drama students play different roles and these roles will enable them to express their expressions also gestures also in a very significant way and you will realize that your students are doing wonderfully when they are given some situations and role play uh, is an innovative technique to enhance the speaking skills also then next day we are talking about again role play uh that is about one student act like shopkeeper and the other as the customer in shopping situation uh, another role can be given like teacher student doctor patient so different roles can be allotted to the students and they can uh, speak on them accordingly the exercise will encourage the students to speak in real life situation also as how should they talk to a doctor when they visit to them or how they should talk to a shopkeeper when they visit a shop to buy something then another uh, activity is related to discussions the teacher will give some topics or pictures and give them instructions how to proceed students will discuss the topic then the teacher or leader of the group ask the questions and discussions are carried out so these are some references for your point of uh, use of more study so i hope you will study more students and get the maximum benefit of it now let's have some mcqs related to the skill and in general so without the uh, dash skills the ability to progress in the working world and in life itself would be nearly impossible so the correct answer would be speaking which of these is the study and classification of speech sounds gestures speech styles phonetics spoof so the phonetics is the correct answer which is the study of classification of speech sounds which of these is not an element of the speaking technique voice quality word stress appearance correct tones so rest of the things are really necessary element for speaking technique but the appearance is surely not so the correct answer is c next is which of these means giving emphasis to a syllable voice quality word stress tone or message so the correct answer is word stress which of these factors is not involved in determination of correct tone pitch dressing style quality strength so the correct answer is dressing style formal speaking has causal approach to something is it true or false yes it is absolutely false it is not having causal approach it is having particular approach so this is all about uh, speaking skills students and i really hope that you have understood well and you will be actually uh, taking more and more good idea when i'm talking about uh, speaking skills so this is all about in today's class and i hope you have understood well and you will be uh, revising the topic and you will be studying more about it till see you in the next class students until then stay safe stay happy and keep learning